Live from Cape TV in Reno, you're watching 2 News at 6.30. This measure definitely helps um, address the youth epidemic. A new federal law makes it illegal for businesses to sell tobacco and vape products to anyone under the age of 21. And that is tonight's 2 News Big Story at 6.30. Good evening, I'm Ryan Canada. Kristen has the week off. Thanks so much for joining us. The change to the tobacco age is part of a $1.4 trillion spending package President Trump signed into law one week ago. Well, the FDA, which regulates tobacco products, says the rule's already in effect. Paul Nelson spoke with some local businesses who say they're happy about the change, but others say they're not changing anything until they get more guidance on the rules and regulations. $7.01 Smoke and Ray's Smoke Shop sells a variety of tobacco and vape products. The owner says it's always sold to people 18 and over and thinks the legal age should stay that way. Do you want your mercy? No, I'm good. All right, have a good day. I personally don't feel it's a very good thing. I think it's a violation of the rights of the individuals they just took away their choice. Curtis Loper says he's asked for guidance from the city of Reno and the attorney general's office, and until he gets more clarification, he's not changing his operation. Until the uh, rules have actually been published, um, we're going to continue to operate the way we've been operating. The age requirement intends to reduce tobacco use and vaping among kids. 19 states and Washington, D.C. have already increased the tobacco age from 18 to 21. Health officials say they've seen positive improvements in those jurisdictions. We have seen an, a decrease in uh, product availability and product access, and therefore um, they are using these products less. Alberti says 9 out of 10 people who smoke, chew, or vape start before they turn 18, and almost all of them start before they're 26. That's because brain development happens until age 25. The people younger than age 25 are more primed for addiction. Most people we talk to say they support the higher age requirement, including some smokers. I think it's a great idea. I think smoking is it's dumb, really. I mean, we know all the hazards that come along from it. There's no reason for it. There's too many addictive things out there for students to begin with. Um, uh, so I think it's, it's super valid to move that up to 21. Covering the story, Paul Nelson, 2 News. Experts say tobacco use is down among young people, but vaping is on the rise. They're hoping that the new age limit will prevent some of the long-term health issues that could come from these products.